the kitchen, I've got another Easter recipe for you. Well, this one's Easter, but technically you could make it any theme, as with many cakes and bakes. So I'm gonna make an Easter tiffin, and that's basically a fridge cake. You don't need to bake it. I'm gonna melt all of these ingredients together and suspend all of these wonderful Easter treats. Grab a saucepan, and I've got some dark chocolate, butter, some golden cast of sugar, and golden syrup. Oh. Gently meet this on low to medium heat until it's all become one, and then we can toss in all of our ingredients. I'm just gonna melt this up. Look at this, it's all nice and liquidy. Silky smooth. You can use any types of biscuits you like, you can use any types of chocolates you like. I've got some rich tea biscuits, and what I've done, I've just by hand just broken them all up into sort of fairly smallish chunks. So that's what you want to do there. I've got some marshmallows and also some mini eggs and some honeycomb bunnies. So literally, all you need to do is dump it in and coat it. So. And then the marshmallows, I'm going to save a few back just to sprinkle on the top. I'm going to sprinkle some of the eggs on the top as well, just to add a little bit of colour. There we go. Fold it through, just to get everything coated. So that's kind of looking nice and cosy. I'm going to also add a little bit of my um, Malteser bunnies. I love these. Oh, lovely, delicious. So I'm going to save a few for the top. I'm going to save the little ones for the top. Oh, lovely. So it's not too chocolatey. And there's not, no chocolate sort of left in the bottom of the pan, so that's all done. So I have got a nine inch cake in here. I like to make a nice round one because it's kind of a bit like an Easter nest. I've lined it, I've lined it with some greaseproof paper on the bottom and on the sides. So I'm just gonna dump it in. Push it down with my spatula. I'm pressing it quite firmly because it's kind of gonna stick it all together as one clonk. There we go. So now I'm just gonna decorate the top. So I'll put some of the little bunnies in. Look at that. And then on goes the last of the eggs and the marshmallows. There's all the little decorations. I'm just gonna clean this off and just press them in so I don't get them too chocolatey. So there we go, it's all ready. So I just need to chill that now. It's gonna take ages to chill, probably a good few hours. So I'm gonna pop it over there and luckily enough, I made one yesterday so I can get it out and enjoy it. So here's the one I did yesterday. Actually, I made it a bit differently and I drizzled it with some extra dark chocolate too. So now we just need to get it out of its tin. <laughs> I'm gonna need to warm it up. Just gonna grab my trusty blowtorch. If you don't have one of these, you can just put it in some hot water. So it's got the paper there. So if I just warm up the butter that I greased it with, it should slip out nicely. Let's try that. That should be fine. Oh, here it comes. Oh, yeah, there it comes. I promise you it's coming. There, looks like a chocolatey brick. Look at that. Chocolatey tiffin. Let's just get the paper off the bottom. I'm gonna cut it up and have a taste. Let's just go in and with a fairly hefty knife. Look at that cross section. Look at that. I'm going in. I'm going in for the kill. Oh. Yum. You've got to try this. You're going to love this. Everything you need to make this is just down there. Happy Easter. Yum, yum, yum. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that.